am going to share with you three recipes that can all be prepared in your crock pot and they all have four ingredients or less. Now, technically, I think I could say that they have three ingredients because for two of the recipes, I'm going to count cornstarch as an ingredient and for the other, I'm going to count nonstick cooking spray as an ingredient but I didn't want anyone to think that I clickbaited you to watch this video. So I'm gonna say four ingredients. Now two of these you can have for dinner and one is gonna be a dessert. So come along, the first one we're gonna start with are some teriyaki wings in the crock pot. I'll show you how it's done. I'm starting with a four pound bag of frozen chicken wings that I got from Walmart. I'm just putting them into my crock pot frozen and I'm going to arrange them so that they all fit. And then I'm gonna take about two cups of packed brown sugar, put that into a bowl. In a separate bowl, I'm adding one cup of low sodium soy sauce, and then I'm also gonna add some cornstarch to it to thicken it up, and I'll whisk that up before adding it into my sugar. I'm gonna whisk this together, and once it's combined, I will add it to my crock pot, and I'm going to try to cover my wings with it as much as I can. Don't worry if your wings aren't completely submerged in the sauce. As your wings cook down, they will be coated with sauce. I'll just cook this on low for about six hours, and then I'll check to see whether or not the wings are done. Once the wings were cooked through, I removed them from the crock pot and I put them on a platter for serving. And here is what the wings look like all done. Now I only put the seeds on it for presentation purposes. That does not count for an ingredient. So like I showed you, the wings are done and they look delicious. One thing I will say about them is typically when we make these, we used the dark brown sugar, but the store didn't have any this time. So I had to use light brown and it definitely gives it a different taste. They're much sweeter than what they typically are. So the dark brown sugar gives it more of like a caramely molassesy taste, if that's even a word. Um, it just a kind of a, a richer, deeper flavor. The light brown sugar just makes them sweeter. So definitely use the dark brown sugar if you can find it. And even if you use that, you might wanna use a little bit less sugar than I did, maybe a cup, cup and a half. Um, if you do have to use light brown, if that's all you have on hand, cut it back. I would say uh, maybe a cup maximum. So anyway, I hope you try these and I hope you like them. If you see out there right now, uh, we've got our TV on outside and we're having some neighbors over to watch a football game tonight. So I'm gonna take these wings and go outside and enjoy the game. So what'd you guys think of the wings? The wings were delicious. You that's all make... that's left. You guys ate them all. Yes, they were so good. Thank you so much. So I am getting ready to prep dinner for tonight and I am going to prepare two recipes, each of which has four ingredients. You can see I have two crock pots in front of me. Um, we do have two fairly large crock pots so the first recipe that I am going to prepare is what I like to call Olive Garden Chicken. Essentially, it's using Olive Garden dressing and some chicken and some Parmesan cheese. Put that in the crock pot and let it cook. Second recipe I'm going to make is a cherry dump cake in the crock pot, so I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and prep both of them now and get them in the crock pots. We're hoping to eat in maybe three, three and a half hours. So uh, I'm gonna adjust the cooking temperature on these um, so that they're hopefully both done around the same time. So I'm gonna get them started and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm starting by adding one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast to my crock pot. These were very, very thinly sliced, so they're going to cook very quickly. 
And then I'll get my sauce ready. I'm starting with one cup of Olive Garden Italian dressing, my favorite. I'm gonna add that into a bowl along with one heaping tablespoon of some of the cornstarch just to get my sauce nice and thick. I'm gonna go ahead and combine that, whisk it all together until it's well combined. And then to that, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese and then get that sauce added to my crock pot. After I got my chicken into the crock pot, I started on the cherry dump cake. So in a separate crock pot, I sprayed with nonstick cooking spray, and then I added two 21 ounce cans of cherry pie filling and spread that nice and evenly on the bottom of the crock pot. To a bowl, I'm going to add one box of yellow cake mix, nothing complicated here, <laughs> and to that I will be adding one half cup of melted butter, I just melted it in the microwave, and then I'm going to stir these two to combine. It doesn't have to be perfectly combined, it's okay if some of your cake mix is still a little bit dry, and then I'll just add this to my cherry filling in the crock pot, put the lid on it, and then I'll cook this, I'm going to start with it on high for about an hour or so, and then I will cook it on low. So I just wanted to show you that the chicken is about done. How good does that look? So adding the cornstarch really does make a difference. You can see that it really is thick. It's good when you get kind of the crunchy bits along the side. So, so good. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got some Brussels sprouts and red onions roasting in the oven. So I'm just gonna close this up, keep it on warm, let it go just a little bit longer, and as soon as those are done, I'm gonna plate it up and I'll show you what it looks like. So I went ahead and plated up my chicken with some of the roasted Brussels sprouts and onions that I made. I'm pretty sure I included those in a video previously, so if so, I will find that and link it above. And then we really like the Seeds of Change, organic quinoa and brown rice. I get this at, Car at um, Costco, but I've also seen it at Walmart, so. Go ahead and pass this off to Derek and we've had this before but we'll have him give it a try okay mm -hmm. how about the chicken oh <laughs> good too. it's good good mm -hmm. okay all right, so we're gonna go ahead and eat dinner, and then after we're done, I will show you our cherry dump cake that we're having for dessert. Our dinner was delicious. I forgot to state that I um, cooked the chicken for right around two, two and a half hours. I started it on high for about an hour, and then I moved it to low again. My crock pot cooks really quick, and that chicken was very, very thin, so it was really tasty. Here is the cherry cake. Look at it. It's can you see it? <laughs> like, it's like so hot, it's like lava, it's bubbling, but it looks really good. I'm excited to dig into it. <gasps> Yum. <gasps> oh my gosh, that looks so good. So good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some in a bowl and show you what it looks like. I'm really excited to go ahead and dig into this. I don't know if you can see it, but it is steamy. It is really, really hot. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Mm. 
Oh, that's so good. It's like a cherry pie and it's cherry cobbler. Oh, really, really good. Highly, highly recommend that. And how easy was that? I made it in the crock pot and it took less than what? Three, four hours max. So I love it. Now Derek's on the phone right now, so he hasn't tried it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat some more. And then when he gets off the phone, I'll give him some too. Now, if I was able to cheat, which I'm not going to, because I promised you it would be four ingredients, I would probably go ahead and add some whipped cream to it or maybe some vanilla ice cream. The ice cream would just melt right into it. It'd be delicious. So I'd probably do that if I could, but I'm not going to. Uh, and it's perfect just the way it is. But anyhow, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. If you give them a try, please let me know down below. And also, if you like my content, please consider subscribing and also hitting that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. All right, well, I will be back soon with some new crock pot recipes and some other easy weeknight meals that hopefully you'll try. Thanks for watching.